Jason here with Storyteller Overland. In this tech tip, we will cover how to install both your rear and side door bug screens. The items you will need for this install are the Storyteller bug screen kit and a plastic wedge found at most auto parts stores. First, remove the bug screens and lay them out on a tarp or furniture pad. Begin with the rear bug screen and start at the top center by fitting the door catches through the holes in the screen and aligning to the center mark on the door seal. Now, starting with either the left or right side, Begin by pressing the screen into the Velcro from the center out, laying the Velcro against the door opening. Continue from the bed area to the garage area, connecting the Velcro on the bug screen to all the Vel dots. Now repeat for the other side of the rear bug screen. Once the bug screen is fully installed, check for any gaps in the center and adjust the bug screen as necessary. Now let's turn our attention to the side door bug screen. Begin by removing the thumb screw near the interior light above the door. Insert the screw through the metal ring in the bug screen and then reattach the screw into its original spot above the door. Do not tighten at this time. From inside the van, align the upper wide strip on the bug screen to the overhead strip. Notice the bug screen does not fit edge to edge on the overhead strip. Make sure it is evenly attached. Now let's fit the bug screen between the galley and the microwave cabinet. First, unzip the bug screen for easier alignment. The bottom corner of the bug screen will need to be pressed in between the fabric and the van body for proper fit. Use a plastic wedge where the bug screen goes behind the upper galley cabinet, pressing the fabric in between the body and the galley cabinet. Now, close the zipper and fit the bug screen to the edge of the galley and to the top of the fridge. This will ensure proper placement. Once it is fit, unzip the bug screen. From inside the van, move to the top corner of the bug screen next to the microwave. Once again, use the plastic wedge to tuck the top corner behind the microwave and van frame. Now zip up this side of the bug screen. Move to the outside of the van and Velcro the top left bug screen to the side of the microwave cabinet. Now move to the other side and fit the bug screen from the top all the way down to the B pillar, making sure that the bottom sits flush to the step at the sliding door. Finally, tighten the thumb screw and check for any gaps on the edge of the bug screen and at the opening. If you see a gap, just simply reposition the bug screen. And there you go. You have just completed installing your bug screens, eh? Remember, adjustments will be necessary as each mode is hand built and there are slight differences with each. If you have any issues, please use the Mode Life app to schedule a service call or go to StorytellerOverland.com and click Customer Support and fill out the Help section.